Alkalinity is a water's buffering capacity or its ability to resist change in pH. This procedure involves titrating a water sample using sulfuric acid solution to an endpoint determined with color indicators or a pH meter. Total alkalinity is a measure of all carbonate, bicarbonate, and hydroxide in the sample. This video will demonstrate how to properly analyze the phenolphthalein and total alkalinity of a water sample using a digital titrator following Hawk method 8203. This is a basic overview. You should always refer to the methods and procedures specifically provided for your equipment. It is also important to review the safety data sheets for the reagents that are used and to use any personal protective equipment that is recommended. Collect your sample in clean glass or plastic bottles. Analyze the sample as soon as possible for the best results. If the sample is refrigerated, let it come to room temperature before the analysis. Select a sample volume and titration cartridge from the table provided in the method. You will need to know the approximate range of alkalinity in the sample or guess and repeat the test as necessary. The digit multiplier will be what you multiply your titrator result by to obtain the true concentration. Assemble the digital titrator following the instructions provided. To prime the delivery tube, hold the titrator tip up and eject the air and a few drops of the titrant into a waste beaker. Reset the counter to zero and clean the tip. If the sample volume given in the table is less than 100 milliliters, top the cylinder up to 100 milliliters using deionized water. Pour the sample into an Erlenmeyer flask and add a stir bar. Place on a stir plate and begin stirring the sample. Add the contents of one phenolphthalein indicator powder pillow. If the sample's color remains unchanged, add the next indicator. If the sample's color changes to pink, begin titrating the sample until it is colorless. This endpoint is known as the phenolphthalein alkalinity of a sample. Record the value displayed on the digital titrator and use the multiplier in the table to calculate the concentration as milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate. Next, add the contents of one bromcrestle green methyl red indicator powder pillow. Titrate the sample until the color changes from a green color to a light pink color. During the titration, you will know you are approaching the endpoint when you start to see flashes of color change that persist for one second or more. It is advised to add acid slowly as you get closer to the endpoint to ensure you do not overshoot it. If you are unsure that you've reached the true endpoint, mark down the value that is on the digital titrator and then go further. You can always revert back to your last recorded reading if you go too far past the endpoint. Record the final value displayed on the digital titrator. This is your total alkalinity reading. Use the multiplier in the table to calculate the concentration as milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate. Information for determining the alkalinity relationships and calculating the bicarbonate, carbonate, and hydroxide alkalinities can be found in the method if it is required. Color indicators can be emitted if a pH meter is used to determine the endpoints. This may be helpful if your sample is colored or turbid or if the operator has a color blindness. A table is provided in the method to specify pH endpoints for phenolphthalein and total alkalinity based on the type of sample that is being analyzed. Refer to your method for more details. It is important to note that if chlorine is present in a sample, it can cause a yellow-brown endpoint during the bromcrestle green methyl red titration. To avoid this interference, add a drop of sodium thiosulfate solution to quench the chlorine before you start the test. More videos and helpful resources related to drinking water are available on our drinking water resource library. 
Visit our website to learn more about our training courses and our pilot testing services.